Yo, what's up guys? We're gonna be starting the nothing to something trading challenge. So I'm gonna be starting with the Shaggy and seeing how far I can get only trading the Shaggy. And I'm gonna be using a secret undercover account so no one sends me good trades. So I'm gonna start off by mass sending a bunch of trades. I'm gonna send out a bunch of trades to hopefully see if someone ends up accepting my trade. So I'm gonna keep doing this and once I actually make a trade, I'll let you guys know and we'll see how much profit I ended up making. So after sending a bunch of trades out, I still haven't gotten anything completed. One of my trades countered. I got the Shaggy for the agonizingly ugly egg inbound. And although the egg is worth less than the Shaggy, currently it's projected. So I think I might take a risk on it. Alright, so I'm just at Trade Hangout looking for people I could send this to. I'm literally just sending out to as many people as possible and hoping that one person accepts. That's basically just what you have to do when you first start. Just send out as many trades as you can. You're going to get a lot of rejections, but you just have to keep going and keep sending. So I wasn't able to trade the egg while it was projected and the new limited item just came out so i decided i'm just gonna sell the egg this could be a really big risk as i'm only getting 630 robux back but i'm gonna take the risk so i was able to sell the egg and now i have a total of 621 robux so now i'm gonna go ahead and buy the new limited item I'm actually going to use the 40% method so I can get 40% of the Robux back and hopefully later on in the series I can use that. Alright so I just found somebody who wants to trade the vans for one of my Ralph Lauren items so I'm going to send him a trade. So I think I'm going to do the backpack and a little bit of Robux for, and that would actually be a pretty nice win for me. I'd be winning about 60 wraps so I'm just going to send that. Alright so it looks like he just accepted my trade and yep he did so we ended up winning about 60 wrap not too bad. So I was actually able to sell one of my Ralph Lauren items and I was able to afford the other too. Alright so this guy I trade hangout just walked to me and asked me if I wanted to trade for his Breeze Creek Adventurer and that would actually be a really good trade for me. He actually sent me an even better trade so I'm just going to accept this one. I don't think that he realized that some of my items were projected. So this item is normally worth around like 550 but it's at 750. So this ended up being a really good trade for me. Alright so I just got this trade inbound for all of my items. It's my three items for the Tick Explosion. The Tick Explosion is currently selling under wrap. It's still a really good trade for me. I end up winning about 300 so I'm definitely going to accept this one. Ginger and pumpkin if he actually wants to do that i'll do it oh i think he actually might have just accepted my trade let me see yeah he did okay that was actually a really nice win uh i don't have robux that's the problem i mean if he wants this i'll do it but uh, i don't have any robux oh they actually accepted okay that was actually a really nice win uh ralph lauren for ralph lauren might as well. I mean, I'm winning a little bit there. Why not? So I'm definitely going to take this one. Apple pie for the projected and some Robux. That's a really good trade for me. So uh, hopefully I can flip the projected. This one is good. Actually, I'm winning a decent amount. Why not? This is a decent trade. I'll take it. I'm winning a little bit and I'm getting rid of Robux. So why not? Should I take this? I'm winning like 200, but this item is projected and I'm downgrading, but I'll still accept. I'm going to send all these small items and 100 Robux for it. That would be a really nice upgrade, so hopefully he takes it. Still worth it though. Even though they're selling under, I'm gaining a lot of wrap, so I think it's still worth it. Ooh, this is a nice upgrade actually. For Sword Pack, Shaggy, and Gucci. Yeah, I think I'm gonna accept this one, honestly. Overpaying a little bit, but I get an upgrade and I get better items, so why not? That's a good trade. Yeah, this one for Tick Explosion. I mean, Shaggy is low right now. It's usually at like 1.2, but like I said, that's probably why he sent it. So I think I'm just going to accept just for the upgrade. This trade is actually really good. This item is terrible demand, but I get rid of the projected and I get rid of the tick explosion. So that's a really good trade for me. I can get some Robux as well, like 60, 60 Robux. I would do that. Oh, this trade already got completed. So, all right. So this is actually good anyway. I, I want a decent amount on this trade. Ooh, future green head in a jar. So I'm definitely going to accept that. The spec also gets good offers. But I feel like the putrid gets better offers, so... Ooh, Neon Green Equinox. Yeah, I guess I'll just take this one. I'm winning like 100 something. Ooh, Black Iron Commando. I have to take this, I feel like. Black Iron Commando gets really good overpays. Yeah, that did go through. All right. Black Iron Commando gets really good overpays, so... That was a really good trade, actually. And we won a little bit of rap. Yeah, I know Shaggy, uh, it can go up, but I'm not going to hold it for long, so... It's still a really good trade. I'm going to have to accept, right? That's an amazing trade. Mmm, gold chrome. See, again, Shaggy is usually at 1.2. So that's probably why this guy sent this. But, I mean, since I'm going to trade it right away, I might as well. Silver Tetrominos, chill cap. I'm winning a little bit. Again, Shaggy usually is at 1.2. I'm not going to wait for Shaggy to go up. So maybe I'll just take it. Yeah, I'm not going to wait for Shaggy. So I might as well just accept it now. 
Uh, I'm gonna counter this one. So I'm gonna send the green starry sight and the Gucci diamond frame. It's plus 100 Robux for the... I don't have 100 Robux though. Plus 72 Robux. If they accept this, that would be a blessing. Oh wow, this guy actually accepted. Okay, that was that's actually crazy. He actually accepted that. Projected. Uh, I mean, it's basically a free projected. Why not? I mean, it's normally worth 600, so I'll just take it. Ooh, okay. Easy accept. Easy flip of the projected. Wow, that was quick. Gucci? Two Ralph Lawrence. Nice. Oh, he accepted. Nice. That was a pretty decent trade. Yeah, all these items are good. Gucci is a little bit projected. Yeah, the Gucci is like usually around like 700. In reality, I gained like maybe 200 on this trade, which is nice. Not bad at all. Yeah, because I overpaid a little bit, but it's Crimson Evil Eye is good and Shaggy is low. Again, it's usually at like 1.2, so I'm really overpaying a lot, but I'm going to trade this thing right away. So. so it looks like this guy wants my Crimson Evil Eye. Uh, I'll see what he actually wants to send for it. He countered with less Robux. I don't really know why, but I mean, I'm not complaining. I'll take it. That's a really good trade. Nice overpay. And I still have, it's a one for one. So it's not like a downgraded either. You must, you must have joined the membership right when I, you must have became a member on my channel right when I opened it. Thank you so much. YT Rand Gamer, you're an OG. I know you've been here for the longest. I mean, I think it's pretty decent. I would be getting a little bit I get Ralph Lauren items that I don't want, but um, I think it would be good if he accepts. Oh, hey, he actually accepted. Oh, uh, that was pretty decent. I gained a decent amount. I got rid of Tick Explosion. Only problem is now I have Ralph Lauren items. Ooh, this Space Trojan might be projected, but this trade looks really good. I feel like I have to accept this one. Yeah, I need the upgrade. More Ralph Lauren items. Uh, he countered back. Do I take it? I'm winning like a hundred, but again, I get the Ralph Lauren stuff. Let's just do it. Why not? I just got rid of all my other ones, so. Uh, getting a few more can't be too bad. You know what? Yeah, this is better than the other trade. I'll just take this. I'm worth paying 70 for a nice 3v1 upgrade. Yeah, that's really good, actually. Only overpaid 70 for a 3v1 upgrade. That's good. I'll counter. If he can add 100 Robux, I'll take it. And we got this trade completed. I did overpay, but I overpaid because I know Shaggy's going to go up. That's the only reason why I sent this one. Ooh. The uh, wizard's hat. Interesting. Is it projected? No, it's not. Ooh. This might be a little bit peaked, but... It's still a good trade. I'm still winning. Even though it's peaked, I can probably try to get rid of it quickly. I'm going to accept that though. For sure. We were able to make it all the way up to 6,000. I have 5.8 thousand value and I have about 200 Robux. We started with only Shaggy and so far we have the Wizard's Hat, a Shaggy, and a Chill Cap. It feels like I sent out tens of thousands of trades. I don't know exactly how many I sent out, but I know I sent out a ton. And we actually ended up completing a total of 38 different trades. So I'm going to go through all of the trades real quick. I'm not really going to go over them too much, but hopefully in the next episode, we can actually make it to around 10,000. This challenge has definitely gotten a lot harder since the last time I did it, because I feel like people know a lot more about trading now, and people are less likely to actually accept these trades. Also, the fact that I was on an undercover account made it a whole lot harder. I mean, in the middle of the challenge, people started realizing that it was me, and I was getting a lot of donations to be honest, but I tried my best to decline all those donations. But definitely when I went from like 1k to maybe 2.5, nobody knew who I was, and I was able to complete a lot of legit trades. I tried my best to stay undercover, but like I said, at one point, it really just got impossible. But I'm really satisfied with where we were able to get, especially with how hard this challenge was. Let me know in the comment section below if you guys actually plan on doing this challenge. Like I said, it has gotten a lot harder recently, so maybe you guys can do a little bit better than I did. The next episode should be coming out soon, so I hope you guys enjoy. Anyways, thank you guys so much for watching. If you did enjoy, please leave a like and subscribe. I really appreciate it because it really would help out my channel. Peace.